Okay, this is going to be a general love reading for Taurus. This is a timeless read, so whenever you find this reading, Taurus is when it's for you. And this is going to be a general love reading, so um, it's, it's not going to be a twin flame reading. If the twin flame vibe comes up, I will definitely let you know, but this is going to be just a general love reading for Taurus. So we're going to go ahead and start with the tarot deck. And I'm using my Mermaid Tarot. Taurus. What do we need to know for Taurus um, for the month of September for their love connections? All right. This is the Oceanic Tarot. What do we need to know for Taurus? Taurus. What do we got for Taurus for the month of September? Taurus. What do we got for Taurus? What do we got for Taurus? Taurus. Please. Taurus. 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 What do we got for our beautiful earth sign, Taurus? And it gave me bloom, so I'm gonna... Alright, what do we got for Taurus? Taurus? Whoa, your car just flew out, Taurus. Very nice. We have Ace of Swords, Victory. Wow. So somebody's going to get really clear about how they feel about you. If you thought and suspected somebody had feelings for you, you were right, Taurus. We got victory. We got a big, huge clarification coming through the sort of truth. A cutthroat love confection. confession. Confection? Oh my God, this Mercury retrograde needs to be over. Queen of Cups, sensitivity. So for some of you, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, hold on one second, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I couldn't think of the last water sign and my freaking kids will not stop interrupting me. It's so irritating. Uh, I love them and sometimes they just don't know freaking boundaries it's ridiculous i have to be like a million times i told them the next time they come in here and interrupt me i'm just gonna shut the door because they this is like the fifth time already and and i'm only on i already did aries i just did aries that's it so they've already interrupted me four times in my aries read and one time now this is just getting ridiculous and i tell them i'm working this is my job stay out of here and they just don't they don't follow boundaries and it's not okay so I just need to get stronger about the boundaries and I'm going to start locking the stores what I'm going to do but I don't want to do that because you know they're fairly young you know they're 11 and 6 and 5 so like they need me I need to be available to them but they also need to understand that they have to stop coming in here for like stupid little things you know what I'm saying they can't just come in and go oh I'm filling up a water balloon with water like what do I need to know that for and for one you're not doing that <laughs> like but anyways, so we're talking about water sign. Um, so if this is for, if this is for a divine um, masculine and you're watching this right now and you're wondering if your feminine is open and receptive towards your advances, the answer is yes. This is the queen of cups, which is the energy of a mother who's open and, you know, she's very nurturing. She's got this motherly type energy, but she's also very sexual and sensual and um it says sensitivity so yes yeah, she's she's holding her cup of love out because she's ready for love she's open and receptive so if you come with a confession i think it'll be it will be received well okay we have six of wands success again okay so taurus if you're wondering if you're going to be successful this month is september in love we have victory we have success there's your answers claim it feel it believe it okay <laughs> you're going to be successful in whatever happens in your love life this could be the one Taurus okay what else do we have for Taurus wow these are not coming out but they're flipping so I don't know if we're going to take them. That one flipped out. Two of Wands, Vision. So anytime we have a two, it's about a coupling. 
So I feel like this this is definitely a good this is a good match, Taurus. We have vision. You guys share the same vision. Whoever this person is, um, you guys have the same core values. I don't know. It, it could be twin flamey because there's two and it says vision. So usually twin flames will have the same sort of core vision and core values. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say it is or it isn't. But that's one of my twin flamey cards. So we'll get some more cards to see if, you know, the surrounding energies are confirming that or not. But it feels very twin flamey. King of Wands, practicality. So your person, um, if this is the Divine Feminine, you're very much in your King of Wands energy. You're sort of creating and living your life. Your person also could be a fire sign. But it feels very much like you're in your King of Wands energy. Like you're kicking ass, Taurus. You're just doing all of these things that make you happy. You're not really worried about a love connection. But I feel like because you're not worried about it, that's when it's going to come in. And again, we have two. Again. There's two seahorses there. So yes, it, this feels very twin flamey. So funny. Like, I'm not doing any twin flame reads, but all the twin flame cards are coming out. So for some of you, in the month of September, you guys are really getting your... I feel like a lot of divine spiritual counterparts, twin flames, whatever you want to call them, are going to be in union. And we have the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny, I told you. Wow. So the wheel is turning in your favor. Okay. You've completed a huge cycle in regards to like <clears throat> your healing journey and your journey of life and of love. And now the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. This is a, a guided, divinely guided, fated, destined love. So I hate to sound hokey, but yes, it feels very twin flamey. It says destiny. This person is destined to be yours. Oh, man. Okay. We're not even going to pull another tarot card because that's just so good. Okay. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about this connection. All right. What else does Taurus have to say about... Um, what does Taurus have to say? What does Taurus's guides have to say about this connection for some of you you might be dealing with an Aries because I keep I keep wanting to say Aries even though I just did the reading for some reason all right what do the romance angels have to say about this connection that Taurus is thinking of this connection for Taurus that's coming in in September what do the romance angels have to say about it okay all right, so we have past life relationship. I told you, you've known each other before. See, I told you it felt twin flamey. I'm not just talking out of my asshole. It says you have known each other before. This is a past life connection. I told you, Taurus. Oh, my beautiful Tauruses. You are about to get the love of your life and you don't even know it yet, do you? You better be ready. Are you ready? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So for some of you, if you know your person, you're in a relationship with someone, this is your proposal. This is your next step. This is your engagement, right? They're, they, they see a future with you, okay? If you don't know who your person is, then this is stating that your love life is ascending to a higher level. So this, what I'm saying is a higher love, right? It's a twin flame connection. So <clears throat> they feel you, you feel them, and so they're getting ready to make a step towards you if they haven't already, Taurus, because they, they have a soul connection with you. You have a soul spark worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work. I told you, divine timing is at work in your love life. So you just have to be patient. You just have to wait because the angels are guiding this connection. Look, there's two angels. And again, there is a twin flame card again. There's two of them, right? Twins. Twins. The angels are guiding you guys towards each other. They're guiding this connection. 
<clears throat> oh my god, there's nothing else that even needs to be said. Okay. Um, we are going to do what is this deck? Conscious spirit. We're gonna get spirit messages. So how can Taurus um make this connection come in faster? Now this is for September, so this could be you know middle September, end of September, either way, it's in September. Um, it could be even the beginning of October, but we're trying to draw on September's timeline energies. But here's what you can do to make the union come in faster, Taurus. What do we got? What do we what does spirit want Taurus to know about this connection? We have movement meditation, number 32. I celebrate and honor my physical body through dance and movement. So move your body, Taurus. Get out there and dance. Shake your ass. And look, if you add three and two, it's five. So the more you move your body, whether I don't even care if it's like you just turn on some music and just dance your ass off. That's going to help the energy to move. You, It's going to take all the stagnant energy and your person's going to feel that sacral chakra movements of your body and it's going to draw them in like a moth to a flame burned by the fire. My love is strong. Can't you, or my love is, what is it? My love is blind. Can't you feel my desire? Janet Jackson. I'm channeling some Janet for you. Oof. <clears throat> okay. We have 39. Wow. It's two threes. Flames of wisdom. Crone. I'm open to all of life's wisdom and share it with gratitude. So you are a very old, wise soul, Taurus. And that's why you deserve this connection because you've, you've done this so many times, right? You've lived and relived and relived and reincarnated and you have so much wisdom and so much life lessons and you've done the spiritual work. And for some of you, you might even be a spiritual teacher. Your person might be a spiritual teacher too. That's That could be how you guys are going to find each other. We have nature spirits. I respect all of nature's elemental beings and help preserve life on earth. So do your part to take care of our beautiful earth, Taurus. I feel like you do that anyways because you're an earth sign. For some of you, you might be working with like fae energy, which is like, you know, fairy energy. Um, I feel like something that you lost, this has nothing to do with love. But I keep seeing, like, see how she's holding on to something. I get this feeling of, like, something that you lost being found. I don't know if it has anything to do with, with your love life or not. But there's also a frog here. So I feel like, Taurus, you feel like you may have had to kiss a lot of frogs to get your prince. But don't worry. The, it, it sounds so hokey and, like, hopeless romantic. But <laughs> that's what they 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 said to me. When I seen the frog, also, this is a very passionate connection. Some of you could be dealing with the fire sign. There's a lot of red and a lot of um, fire in this in this um, spread. We also have water energy here, though, too. So they could be, have water and fire in their chart. Um, and even air. That's, you know, the birds and the fairy. That's air. There's also air here. Woo! So we got all... All signs here, pretty much. Except for Earth, but. Well, yeah, the, there's plants here, so it could be Earth. I don't know. It could be any sign, I guess. There's, um, I feel like your person might be a little bit afraid, too, with the red. If I feel like um, root chakra um, fears, you know, of intimacy or fear of, like, love so maybe that's why they haven't came forward as well and this is number 35 added up and it's number eight um so that is the number of eternal eternal love and abundance um 39 9 and 3 is 12 so it's a fresh start with your person right because one is a new beginning, two is a number of union, okay? <clears throat> um, what are we doing next? Let's do your career spread. 
And then we're going to end with your spirit guide, what they want you to know. Um, not, I'm sorry, not what your, per what, bleh, I cannot talk. This Mercury, Mercury must be in retrograde because I literally cannot talk. So I don't know if it is or not, but I'm really, my words are flabba, flabba, flabba. flabba. All right, so what do we got for a Taurus career? Two cards for advice from your angels for your career. And we're going to end with what spirit guide is helping you in your connection. Okay, so there's that. All right. And these readings are going to be short and sweet. So we're going to keep them hopefully under 20 minutes. <clears throat> what is the career advice we have for Taurus? Two cards for Taurus for their career. What is the career advice for Taurus or financial advice? Blackout distractions. Okay, so you're taking on too much. Spirit wants you to slow down and take some time for Taurus. Okay, block out all distractions. Set aside maybe an hour. All you need is an hour. Just block out an hour time space for you to meditate, for you to figure out what it is that is going to make you happy in order to create joy and abundance and financial stability for you, Taurus. <clears throat> okay. Last message for Taurus. We have no more complaining. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just laughing. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you because I tend to do this as well. Um, we're all human beings. We like to, you know, vent and grunt about stuff that is happening and the price of gas is too high and it's so much money for a loaf of bread. And a, I remember when a gallon of milk was a dollar ninety nine. Now it's four bucks, right? <clears throat> we all do that. <clears throat> God, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I'm having some major throat chakra issues. This past month, I know all of you have been as well. And it's just, I'm done with it. I'm ready to be fucking done with it. <clears throat> I'm ready for these damn ascension symptoms to stop. Okay, so it says to take back your power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. And stop, you know, playing the victim. It literally says complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spirituality. So we want to speak... Um positivity into our life right because everything that we speak words are spells that's why they call it spelling right so what are you spelling Taurus can we try to use words like I am um I am grateful um when you spend money instead of saying oh my god like that milk was so expensive you can say wow like um I remember a time when you know our our money went further right instead of like saying oh my gosh i don't want to pay that much for milk how about instead saying i am so grateful that i have this money to buy this milk right <clears throat> and sort of change your perspective and be grateful um for the money that you have and spend it wisely okay so there's that all right we're gonna do your last card which is what spirit guide is helping you in your connection? What spirit guide is helping Taurus in their connection right now? What spirit guide is helping Taurus? Okay. What is the last and final message? That you want to give Taurus and what guide is helping them to come into union with their person. Oh, there it is. The altar priestess. Wow. So it's basically the equivalent of the high priestess. You know, this is about using your intuition, Taurus. So you're going to be your greatest asset. You're going to be your greatest guide in going forward. Um, this altar priestess is also, she's number 39. You got number 12 again, because nine and three is 12. So again, you have this beautiful energy of starting fresh with this person. I 
I don't know. I feel like a lot of you might not even know that this person, who this person is, or if they, they have feelings for you. I feel like they've hidden it really well. But the, so the altar priestess, it says preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual. So some of you, your prayers and your affirmations are what is drawing this person right into you. Um, you know, the altar priestess is the goddess and the priestess of prayer and meditation and rituals. So if some of you are, you know, a practicing witch or a Wiccan, by all means, do your magic because this is what's going to bring your person into you a lot faster as well. I feel like any type of witchy rituals, I see some of you doing love spells, like not, we don't do love spells on a person. We always do spells for us. So I see you doing spells to connect with your inner goddess, you know, love spells to make yourself feel more beautiful and attractive, love spells to make you more, um, you know, what's it called? Um, like make, you know, your whole essence become like an aphrodisiac. Okay. Basically like desire spells and things like that, you know, not doing spells on other people because that's against their free will, right? We don't do that. That's fucking low vibrational. We don't do that shit. We don't need to do that because we are the fucking love spell, right? We are the goddesses. We are the fucking prize. We don't have to do any of that shit. But what we do do is we can do a little tweaks here and there to make ourselves feel more sexy, and more attractive and more oof, you know what I'm saying? More uh, je ne sais quoi, whatever, right? We can make ourselves a fucking, you know, fabulous, right? So it says preparation too. So make sure you're preparing your heart for this person because it's coming in awful quick, Taurus. All right, so we have a star here too. So it could be some of you are dealing with an Aquarius um, or, you know, you just have, you know, this hope and that's what's drawn, you know, this person in because you've, you never gave up hope on love. You just, you never gave up, you know, there's also a Lotus here. So I feel like you'll be having a lot of crown chakra activations. So that'll be a sign that you're going to be meeting your person because you'll feel, you know, like crown chakra downloads, like you might start getting headaches and feeling like pressure on the top of your head. Those are indications of crown chakra activations and messages. Um, you might want to try some crown chakra meditations um, to sort of clear the energy there and prepare yourself for the arrival of this fated event. All right. So that's going to conclude your reading, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you did, please like the video and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video that I upload. I upload every other day, my beautiful Taurus. And if you want to book a reading with me, all of my information is in the description box. All you got to do is click on that little Goldie appointment fix um, button and it will help you schedule a reading with me. I love you Taurus. Bye.